All right, so the goal of this last example is to discuss how um, we can add some functionality to our leaflet maps using some jQuery, JavaScript, and also some other plugins. So this is a different map than what we I'd used in some of the other examples. Um, so we just have a base map. This is a OSM base map, and we have some point features. At each point feature, it links to a, a page of photos at that location, and then the Wikipedia page for it. And here I used a you know target blank, so both the images and, or the the pictures and the Wikipedia page load in a new tab. Um, all right, so. Another component we have which is new is we now have this uh, collapsing side menu that is linked to this button and then we have some buttons in here that do different things. So for example this one if you click on it, it zooms into Salzburg Austria. Um, this one will add or remove the um, icons, takes you back to the original extent. This locate button can be used to zoom to your current location uh, using the location-based services. Um, so let's explain how, that's the main focus here, so we're going to explain how that works. Okay, so a couple, uh, couple notes on packages. So most of these we've used already. So the awesome markers um, um, is used to get this picture or camera marker. Um, this easy button is what this is how we get this slide control to work. Um, so we'll talk about that. That's an additional plugin. And uh, and then the sidebar options, which uh, which is with this package. Okay. So again, here we're building out our variables. So we're defi we're declaring them, but not defining them. Here's our map object. So we're setting initial. Um, uh, uh, center and zoom, setting our base maps. Um, I'm reading in this uh, point layer, these photo points, and we're setting up our layer controls. And then this sidebar is with this. So this is defining our um, sidebar. And then this L.Easy button method that comes from the Easy button plugin, and that allows you to assign some type of functionality to a button. So basically, this is set. Um, this is FA compress alt, uh, which is this button. So that's basically the the link that how it knows what button you mean. And then this, whenever that runs, it executes a function. So what this does is it takes the sidebar object and it toggles it to on or off. So that's effectively what that does. Again, just toggling it on and off. So that's the easy button. So basically you can just put a button on the screen and then assign, assign some type of action or function to it. In this case, it's a toggle. Okay, so within the, uh, the sidebar, we have a couple uh, different um, buttons that do different things. So if you remember, this is basically jQuery. So again, simplifies the use of JavaScript a bit. So this is the ID for the button that is being clicked or interacted with. So this is the thing you're interacting with. This is how you're interacting with it. So you're clicking it. And then within here is what to do. So this pmap object is going to be impacted. So it's the map. And it's going to be impacted by zooming in and over to a certain location, in this case Salzburg. So when you click on this button, it's going to execute this function, which causes the pmap to the view for the, the, object, the pmap object to change to a new center and a new zoom level. So that's what that does when it's fired. Okay, um, so let's go back and look at the next button. So the next button is this button mark. So that's this change marker and then change back. So uh, let's keep zooming down. Okay, so button marker. So if you click that button, it's going to first remove the layer from the map. Then it's going to add the layer back in 
and it's going to use a different set of styles than what was previously there. So if we go down to the bottom of the page where we have this return point style 2, that is this object. So the only key real difference here is that we changed the icon color. Um, so it's going to use where's the icon 2 as opposed to icon 1. Uh, here's icon 1 in orange. Here's icon 2 in green. Right? So basically you're removing the layer, then adding it back in with a different symbol. And then the, the change marker back just does the opposite. So, sorry, go back up here. So this is button two. So again, remove it, add it back in, use the first set of styles, which is the orange style as opposed to the green style. Okay, so the next one is button, add, or remove. So this has an if else statement inside of it. So again, if this is the but this is the object you're interacting with. It's this button. If you click on it, then if you click on it and the photo layer is is uh, there, so has layer is equal to true, then it's going to remove that layer from the map. If the layer isn't there, then it's just going to add it to the map. So basically, it's a button that adds or removes that specific layer. So click on it here, it's there, so it would evaluate to true, thus it would remove it. If we click it again, it's going to evaluate to false, so it's going to use the else statement, and it's going to add it back in. Okay, um, and then locate, so that's this, so we have this button locate object, again that's its uh, CSS ID. When you click on it, it's going to use this locate method, which is built in the leaflet, and it's going to set your view to your current location. So if you click on this, it tries to use your location-based services. Again, it has to ask. Um, and then for me, it'll. It's, I'm on a desktop machine, so it's going to use like the server. It's not going to be super accurate. So we'll leave that alone. Okay, and then the last button is back to original extent. So let's look at that one. So button original. And if you click on it, it's going to set the view back to the original uh, view and zoom level. So that's effectively what all those buttons do. And then again, the easy button plugin allows you to toggle this side panel on and off. All right, um, before we end, just another quick note. Notice that I tried to apply some styling so that like the pop-up the pop looked similar to the, uh, the, the rest of the web page. So if we go to that object, so control sidebar, so sidebar, that should be, I had to map, one of these should reference the style. So let's see if we go to CSS, my styles, those are the buttons sidebar there we go so it's basically using that css and setting the collar so there's your background collar your border collar and the width of the border um, and then no supply that because if we go back to our index file it's linked to a specific id there so this is it knows what div on the page is associated with the sidebar or will hold the sidebar. Okay, so um, again, with some fairly basic JavaScript um, and some plugins like the Easy Button, you can actually create some custom functionality for your maps.